Welcome back to another edition of These Nuts. Okay, well, I came up with something. Um, uh, it's going to be an Asian inspired project. Um, the finale? Mm, not so sure of. I'll show you the end results. Um, it has come to my attention that people would like to see, uh, you know, the start and finish in one video. So instead of going three, four videos, I'm uh, breaking this one up. Uh, so uh, this is going to be <laughs> slipped into an Italian there. This is going to be. Um, I I just had an idea. I had I found some uh, bamboo. Uh, placemats and stuff and uh, came across this idea <laughs> <laughs> blew me away I was like that'll be cool so let's try it so uh, that w you're gonna see uh, the beginning the middle and the end of this project on this one video are you excited or what did I freak you out Oh, freak me out. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, we should do that when we'd... <laughs> we should... Kids, don't listen. Send the kids out of the room right now. We should do that when we got stoned. We'd go up to somebody go, oh, <laughs> freak them out. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to do these Asian signs. And uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, check them out. We'll uh, we'll have a recap at the end, of course, in the Nut Ward. So, snap the fingers. Check it out. Let's see what we got. Cool. Didn't know what I was gonna do. I just gotta I just gotta look around things and I find stuff and then I go, I got an idea. So I found this bamboo stuff that was left over. Um, from uh, my son's blinds in his Asian room and we used these placemat, bamboo placemats for um, redoing his bed we turned it into a Chinese bed it was pretty, that's pretty cool maybe I'll show that to you at the end of this uh, video But <clears throat> so then I thought hey I got an idea I want to make something out of these so there's the, the Chinese writing is called Kanji, and most people have to be on Ganji to think of Kanji, what I'm going to do with this. So, what I did was, I got these. It's peace, peace, happiness, and tranquility. And then I got three more, laugh, love, live. I'm going to, I'm going to paint that on here. How am I going to paint that? You ask, how am I going to paint that? Well, a few more Coronas. Liquid Courage. And, you know, we're going to go for it. <laughs> so, I got this uh, from the garbage. This overhead projector. So I taped the paper that I drew those on. And I put the bamboo over it. Check it out. So now I'm going to paint all this on here. And then I've, I've divided it into three sections. So I'll get... Um, love, laugh, and, and love, laugh, and live on one thing. And then, I'm going to cut a, where you at? I'm going to cut a groove in this. Just a little groove in here. And then I'm going to wrap it with this copper. Wow! This second one, I, um... I just traced it and now I'm gonna paint it and this one I painted on the light and the paint was drying really fast because it's so hot on that overhead projector and then I used um, these scratchy letters to make the uh, American live laugh and love all right so um, I 
I glued these ends down the bamboo around this piece of plywood make it a little more firmer and these things were um, these are actually like knitted uh, held together and, and they were fraying so they were just keep falling apart so I'm gonna go a little thicker but I glued these on and then um, as you can see I did my uh, <laughs> remember my stencil thing freaky out man Ooh. Um, they uh, the I don't know what you call them. Hold on one second. Nope, they're gone. <laughs> okay. Um, but they're rub-on letters. So, um, tranquility, happiness, peace be with you, brother, and also with you. Um. So I got those, cleaned them all up because I messed up a lot of paint and stuff. Um, that second one worked better with me just tracing it and then painting it. And then I found if you, I use the right paintbrush, um, I didn't, I, I had to go over these two um, with a really fine paintbrush to get the nice clean lines. But I found the right type of paintbrush, super small bristles, super square at the end. And I didn't have to hardly do any kind of detail work on that. So that one came out really good. I think that one's the best. All right, so now I'm going to use these. I'm going to cut these a groove in here so that it goes inside, inside a little bit. And I'm going to have about a one inch reveal on each end. And what I've done was I found some brass. And I'm going to put brass straps on the ends and a brass cap on the end. You're talking a lot of brass caps, Mr. D's Nuts. Murphy's talking brass again. I remember this one time I caught a 14 pound brass. Oh man, that was a fight. So what I did was it came in little sheets. This is like .005 thick. And I cut, uh, I measured an inch on each thing, and then I used a steel rule and, and hit it with a razor blade like three or four times, and whoop, comes off nice and clean. I was cutting with the, with the uh, shears, no good, no bueno man, no bueno. Um, and I, I want to thank the... Uh, stupid uh, installers in the attic for leaving this piece behind. This is a nice little prize. They screwed me out of a lot of money. So um, that's what I'm doing now. And we, we just you do it two or three times and then you can worry this puppy back and forth. And you got a nice clean edge. You don't have to clean up or nothing. The other way, I was going to go with the copper. Copper's a lot thicker. But it's got a real grody edge on it. Oh, and then I would have the sand, and you know how much I love sanding. So, that's where we're at now. Oh, forgot something. I polished the brass with this Maz polishing cream. This works on any kind of metal. Awesome, awesome polishing. Concentrated cleans and protects. Um, there he goes again with his nose. Uh, it's not cocaine, man. It's allergies. Ever since I moved to Florida, I've got allergies. The allergy doctor says that's very common for northerners. Um, I think it's something in the water. Uh, this stuff, though, if you got, like, old coins, if you have old coins that aren't worth anything, this stuff works great to clean them up. I've got a lot of, like, barber dimes and stuff that are worth like two dollars um but you can see the date on them but i that's about it you could barely make out the outline of his face and stuff it's like you know 1906 or whatever um but this stuff worked really good makes them look really nice and shiny and uh but don't do not do not 
do not use this on anything any coin that has got any kind of value to it because you will kill the value instantly by using this because it does leave microscopic little scratches so and if it's a valuable coin and you try to sell it someday you ain't getting squat for it okay <laughs> hey kids don't smoke <laughs> all right now we're cutting the groove to insert the sign Uh, four passes that I did with a normal blade to get that. Let's see if that fits. That, mi amigos, is perfecto. It is perfecto. Let's move on. Okay, here's the thing, Jake from State Farm. Um, when you do this and you take multiple cuts to make a groove, it's not like a dado blade. It's not going to be clean. So you need to take a chisel and draw it through so you get a nice clean edge because there's a lot of grooves and ridges in there just an FYI there he goes snapping his damn fingers again what does he think I am a dog <coughs> hey another thing um, I'm gonna put a piece of brass on the edge and I'm also going to wrap the edge with the bread but I'm going to use my uh, scratch and fix because just in, I know my brass is not going to fit perfectly on there so I don't care if it fits perfectly because I want it to look you know aged and rustic but that way it it kind of blends in all right well that that took a while um i made the end caps basically the same way that i did with the other ones um i just put this down on a piece of brass and traced it out and then cut it out and then i drilled two holes and screwed it in to the side so you don't see the groove and now it's time to glue it up It's cold in Florida today. We're we're only at like 70 degrees. No bandana, no bandana to me. No bandana today. No sweating today. All right. So what we're doing is is now we've got the edges attached, and now I'm going to band the edge. Let's see how we do that. I've cut my strips of brass. <gasps> Ooh. That could have been dangerous. I'm going to put it on the edge. Cover up that edge. And hopefully my cut is right. I'm going to bend it over. And then I take this handy dandy little thing. And I put it in here as a metal bend. There you have it. So I'll bend the other corners and then I'll show you how I screw it in. So I banded it, I clamp it down so it don't move. Then I take my little screwdriver drill. I'm going to put a hole in here. You 
got to blow the dust off. Put your little your little brass screw in there. And just screw it in. Oh, here's a funny thing. Pretty sure I broke my little pinky toe yesterday. That was painful. Oh, Rob! There you go. Screws in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. First spacious guy. One more, we be done. So, yeah, it's all black and blue and purple and red and about the size of my big toe good times welcome back to the nut ward check it out it's a bubble fish tank <laughs> yeah you can't I don't think you really tell but it's changing colors it's green not yellow yeah pretty cool yeah oh, hey little fishes Oh, I think there's a spider in there. <laughs> Got that from my neighbor. They were going to throw it away. <laughs> I'll take it. These nuts will take it. What can we do with this? I don't know. All right. So. There you go. The finale. Love, laugh, live peace tranquility happiness I still think it needs something I want to embellish something on the top maybe like a jade dragon or something if I if I come up with a finale for these um, I'll, I'll shout it out to you guys I'll let you know but they came out really cool I just gotta throw some picture hangers on it hang it on the wall Trey Bueno, Jay Leno. Ah. Alrighty then. So, you learned how to make those. Um, I got the these these. This part was actually were actually um, bamboo placemats. I got at a garage sale for a buck. I got like six of them or eight of them. Um, this is scrap wood. This is some brass that I garbage picked from my own old job. Um, and that's the whole idea. The, ladies and gentlemen, that's the whole idea of these nuts. Is to take the dog feces that's laying around the house. <laughs> and make something really cool out of it. You'd be surprised. I'm finding all sorts of stuff. I forgot I had all these metals. I got stainless steel pieces. I got aluminum, brass, copper. Um, I've got all sorts of stuff in the shed that I just totally forgot about. So um, I got rawhide. Ooh, what are you going to do with rawhide? I don't know. Maybe a future project. I don't know. Don't tell me. I don't know. Eh. Uh, there's too many people. <laughs> Freaking Trump. Uh, uh, I will not denounce the... the uh, never mind. We won't get into politics. Anyways. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay. 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 So then, so we learned how to do all that. Uh, I showed you step by step how I did that. You can do that with anything. You could do it with cloth uh, placemats. You can do it with tapestries. You can do it... Oh, there's a... I want to do something with this. I want to do something with this material. Check that out. That's freaking gnarly. We gotta... I gotta figure out something to do with that. That's... It's like silk, baby. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of when I was in Nam. Hmm. 
Nam Pen? No, State Pen. Ha <laughs> um, ha! So, we did those. That was cool. Finished the end. How about that? How do you like them apples? Um, the next show is I am going to do um, another Iowa, Ohio, <laughs> Ohio sign. Um, instead of Tiger, I am using uh, Red Jasper. Uh, the woman that I made the Tiger I want wants one for Red Jasper for her friend. So I'm, I'm going to take you through a few more steps than what you saw before on the Tiger I won. And then she also commissioned me for these three signs that she uh, purchased and wanted to hang in her house. So we'll, we'll take you through that. That ought to be fun. Start to finish. I think that will be our new mantra. Start to finish. S to F. 2 to G. N to O, I G, in lieu, in facto, sur facto, in presto. Are you in presto? Presto and presto. Um, what else? Oh, I do want to make another. Eventually, I do want to make another uh, uh, patio block, garden block. But I'm going to put, um, like, jewelry and stuff in it. Because Lord knows I have enough of that. Um, and there was something else, but I cannot remember at this time. You remember you... <laughs> you remember you show us a picture of this man and you say, follow him? Well, we follow him. We get out of the fixer right away. And in a one hour, even less than a one hour... We lose in a fix. <laughs> That's some joke, eh, boss? Um, what else? I don't know. I get. I, I got some ideas. So we're going okay. We're doing okay. Um, funding, funding for Corona. Um, we need. We need funding for Corona. Without Corona, there's no projects. It's just. Boring videos without Corona. Um, if somebody wants to start a GoFundMe page for Project These Nuts, uh, you can start it for uh, Project These Nuts GoFundMe Corona. Um, <laughs> and I'm still waiting to hear from Ellen. Nobody's touched base with Ellen yet. I can't believe it. I'm only seven people away from Ellen DeGeneres. Let's go, people. Get out there. Find Ellen. I need Ellen to just discover me. So, um, you know, today we're making hodgepodge projects. Next week I could be like, you know, swarming the goodwill and holding hostages and making some really gnarly stuff. So, all right. Let's end it. As always, everybody, God bless. May he flood you with blessings. Um... May he give you the peace that you need in these stupid times that we're living in. God, we need his peace. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time on Project D Nuts. Adios from the Nut Ward. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> Share it. Like it. Ring the bell. Dang a dang a dang a dang. If you don't ring the bell, you don't know I posted one. It as soon as you hit that bell, you're gonna be notified every time I put a post up or add to my show or add to my page or whatever they call it. Uh if there's anybody out there that could help me uh you know market myself or get things done, hey <laughs> D DM me. <laughs> we're good. Alright, God bless. Talk to you later.